Hi, C player. Now welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, and we have an Ivor with not an arrow in, the, in his hand. So, how to do it? Save. Load. Load. Press X and load. Okay. That's what I do with it. It's for me to load. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh. I look at the tutorial. There is. What about me? What about my? Move along now. We were at a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the Dark Master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the Council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? Yes, I know them. Now you seem to know them too. Point me in the right direction. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. This went zero to hundred real quick. You really want to see me for anything, huh? Kjorn and Lufina have done well for themselves. Here, yeah, this is their home. What a beautiful home, though. I need a good picture. Oh, yeah, thumbnail of the day. The place has been ransacked, and this body, it's not your or Lufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. Because why not? There's a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. You playing cop again, huh? Got it. Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? There. <laughs> e. Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Hmm. So... Something bad has happened with the... with them. Who is that? Come closer! Now! It's... it's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who's... The Picts are winning this war! We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men! Understood, dear Farafid, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on! Enough! The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Pure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. Oh no. The king looks not happy. You have a problem in Jorvik? Yes. 
I'm looking at it. Straight to the back. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived. But the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am Farawid, war chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed Westral is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Haftan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Pure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. went well enough. Rishi will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I Nonsense. should have been there. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go. Old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Duckmaster is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the trade depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. 
I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. This, this is like, freak you. That's her personality, actually. Hmm. RPC. The poison. Oh, oh, I need to know how to throw the toxic to. some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. <laughs> Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls so you get to spend my gains? You want to let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. I'll be gone! <laughs> What a nice lady! Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at night. We will go see him together. <sighs> Hi, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. Please the do there. I hope. Or are I gonna get this? I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please go. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Nice. Now 
There must be another way in. is heavily guarded. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle? It's operation. All this silverware, some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? Oh, it's a creepy feeling, you know. Melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? Making money. No! Please! Don't do this! I promise! I promise you your silver next week! I really like that ability. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn, shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the Needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well... Sorry about that. We all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. I think your men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause. Which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. So was this a wolf? Jackson, I will help you. Let's go, buddy. You're not going to die here. That damned background slipped through my fingers. I'll finish this in Coppergate Market.
We're going that bug. Jackson. Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I run this operation! I do the thinking! I will stab you like a little- Sniff, sniff, sorry. It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky. Hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house. Gave me hearty meals. A warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness. Compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the Bolt, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. Or it's always like, yeah, 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 yeah. I talk, blah, 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 blah. I was like, I've seen this before on the 
council grounds. I should show this to Lufina. Good to all one, remember dead. Wreaths, timber, food, wine. An expensive you list of items lady? to procure for a feast. A pile of official scrolls, stamped with a seal. <laughs> Thank you, Auden. I will leave with peace at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. And destroying them. I fear they will attack these archives next. The abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has and offered to help armor. rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the Rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minister. I should look for the bishop there. What is your planning with this silver? 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 Okay. Oh, okay. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Oh, there's a Rainbow Six uh, Easter egg there. I'm a Viking, not a murder. Yet. <laughs> Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. What do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. Yay. The 
bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? Thank you, priest. Take care. It's blown. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion in the bishop's way. Coffee bad though. Pretty cool. Blood. There was a struggle here. Charred letter beneath the body. What? Someone knew the bishop Sorry was conflicted that, and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand. Oh, Lord have mercy. Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. Stay out! Watch for my signal! <laughs> Okay. Where's the beast priest? Take care, priest. To so take care of these guards. Target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. The firebrand's plan. Secured the minster. No place for you, priest. Go now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once. Something troubling you, father? Abbess, look, they are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. He's like, no. Your mind has been poisoned. But worry not. We have the antidote. 
We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes. Firebrand. Firebrand. Rick Peace Priest again. Okay, just going through. I wish like. The Abyss is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I hit between her and her next victim. I really want the trash first. Mm -hmm. Good okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, please. In here. The Rance is getting killed. And the corner. Dude, with a badass armor. We did it. This fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. 
But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on, for one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. Yay, the thing. To Helheim, where cold and cruel the fires await. Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> That was the. Let's see, it's level 8. <laughs> we wait. Sad enough. Honor, glory. Gold! Pick me, Eivor. We'll hunt them all. Brave with me, warrior. You look For plunder, glory, and Valhalla. Mm. And I'll speak to you. Lyuvina. What news do you bring? I've knocked two names off the list. The Firebrand and the Needle. Well done. Who are they? The Firebrand was Jorvik's abbess. She sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. And the Needle was Jorvik's dockmaster. He was gathering silver and minting it for the vault. Gods, does the Order's reach know no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. I heard what happened at the Minster and the markets. The dockmaster, the abbess, both killed. Was that you? There were two of the names in the letter. Only one remains. The Vault. This is getting out of hand. I hope you have the final name. I'm working on that. I found this on the needle. The Council Seal? And the app has uttered something that perked my ears well. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide Feast. But I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. 
One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rhysia, Falavith, Odin, and... You're... the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the Archives. Could I have missed something? This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's your... Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A <laughs> hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. Getting close. Though. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council the means king. to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Major. He would never do this. He. Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hyor. Right now, we need to get to the Yuletide Feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even your? Even pure. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now to speak to the council members. You speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Odin, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, 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 I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone <laughs> himself. He oh, has indeed. The high reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Faravid, a word if I may. Ha! Ah, Drenger! If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. Oh, 
Pure. Who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. Is someone on the council? You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, boy. We need to see if the king too. Hmm. It seems kind of cold out there, though. Rishi. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you. Of course. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Who is Some it more you than suspect? others. Mm. It's not to your because you don't want it. Tyro is just confused. Let's see. It's a. Do they sit in there and want to be drunk? I don't understand. No, 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 no. Odin. Odin was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Ingibor collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so the indebted. The wine. I'll do as the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, death. And blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. Let's protect the king. Protect the king! Save. There is no escape. No future for peace allowed.
What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine furls in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand furls. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Thank you, Thomas. Eivor! Over here! Are you alright? We're fine. Faravud and his cars escorted King Richier back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. One hour and sixty six twenty six. I don't minutes. care. I want answers. Calm, Lord oh. Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory, the Dark Master, and Ingeborg, the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. Would you stop that from happening? We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Hafton Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Oh, 
hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. I hope we did, Zeus. Zeus, right? We have a saying in Bjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forego the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave Thank before you. you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Hello. You look well. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Lufina and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Okay, I recommend end this big video. Thank you so much for watching. And see play out. How? Damn. Almost one hour and 35 minutes. Yes. Yeah.